New episode. New episode. Hello again. Uh, yeah, we left off last time. Lara ran away from Bartoli. Mm -hmm. And she dived into the water after the submersible submarine. Oh, submarines are submersible. <laughs> after the submarine. Yes, and that's where we left it. We have a cutscene, but I will advise that the very, very first thing that you do upon gaining control over Lara is saving it immediately. Cold. Okay. So. I'm gonna be dying. <sighs> the title of the level is 40 Fathoms. How much is a fathom? It's unfathomable, it's so deep. And let's go. This is very wise. I only got 16. Well, you're at the bottom of what we assume is the Mediterranean Sea. Mm. By myself, without a... A light, a scuba diving gear. And there are what appear to be great white sharks. There is a white, uh, great white in the... In the med... Oh, there's something here. Oh, um, thing he said, uh, uh, the monk said that uh, he sank. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the controls, that looks really weird. Yeah, uh, I'm about to die. Oh. So I'm assuming that uh, it's gonna be a case of uh, you keep dying until uh, you find. Uh, yep, until you find the way. Yeah. Okay. He, his father sank. Um, Gianni Bartoli, which is Marco's father's boat. Yep. I'm assuming that this is his boat. Yep. With them. Um... I remember what he said. Is Sephir? The Seraph. Ah, the Seraph. This looks really weird. It looks like she's caught in a current, but I really don't remember there being a current. <sighs> so, a fathom is 1.83 meters and 40 fathoms means that Lara is diving without proper equipment at 73 meters. Uh, can you check the record for... The record dive is a 30 year old New Zealander who dived to 121 meters without assistance. Usually people can only dive safely to about 12 meters. Yeah, but... But it's Lara, so... Yeah. I'm being eaten by a shark. Good for him. I know many people find the start of this level pretty scary. Huh. You can understand why. Yeah, I'd, more than scary, I'd like to have a, a clearer idea where I'm going. Or There. Oh. Follow the trail of debris. Okay, but I am... And then up that way. Left. Yes. Cool. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a black tip. Okay, it's not a great white. Oh, he's following. He's following. Yeah, Chris, I can see that. So. I'm just oh. adding to the tension. Down, 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 left. Ooh. Oh, nuts. Look at his happy face. Yes, I can hear you, I can hear you, I can hear you. Oh my god, look out! Oh. Is there going to be something up there? Uh, yep. Yeah. I would think so. Oh, 
They're very vibrantly colourful levels, even if they're uh, a little non-traditional. What happened? What was the noise? Uh, water rushing. Okay. Oh! So the water level has changed the floating blocks. I always think she's, oh god, I hope she's got a tetanus jab for this. So much rust. So much rust. And she's barefoot. Oh! And she's barefoot, god, of course. Oh. <laughs> I have a good like that. You know what? Oh! oh no. You gonna reload it? Yeah! Because, damn it, I was full how about, health. How about giving him a taste of his own shotgun medicine? I need more. Uzi. Well, everything, really. Oh, it's a sneaky trick, that is. Yeah. You'd have you run straight over there and you're being shot at from behind. Yes. Anything? Oh, a little bit of shotgun. Okay. Uh -huh. <gasps> Double sneaky. Yeah, seriously, this is just like you're not gonna get this secret. <laughs> oh, I do love the way they made these levels. It's... Uh -huh. It is cruel. And they've said as well on record, uh, one of the person whose job it was basically to just design traps, just like. Yeah, we just love killing players. It was. It, these were the Dark Souls of the 90s. Oh, nice. No! Oh, come on, die. How many bullets do I need to put in you? Okay. So, did the monk say what the Seraph was or mm, why it was on the No, boat? I don't think he said uh, anything. Uh... I'm going to grab the, uh, the transcript of that scene just to see if there was much relevant information, because there may well have been. Are you trying to get back up there? Yeah. No? Uh, no, there should be something else to do. I mean, it, it dropped you in here, so there will be another way out, I think. No, I, I, I think I saw the, the way out. It's the fact that, uh, I don't know. So... This is my problem. Oh, maybe. Is this too far away? To you can hop up there and you can do a run yeah. and jump over there, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can from here. You can try. You might be okay. Might be better, definitely, from this one, but. Okay. <laughs> I can do it. You can. So, and that's where I need to go. Yeah, go for it. No. This is the most infuriating flaw of the entire series. Like, there is no reason why they made this bit. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. This bit. Oh my oh. god. Straight, just watching. Fuck. Oh, many different rooms. I'm gonna go actually. Maybe the going straight is the ruse. Because you don't want to do another. You don't want to go down there. Oh, a portal. Was this just. Uh... Oh, you can do this, but without. Uh... Yeah, so that's that little side corridor that oh. you were going to come down. Got not even a secret. Uh, 
Uh, so that's, I think that will be the start of the area now. I'm so sorry for inflicting this level on you. Yeah, I miss climbing uh, the stairs. Yay! More fire. The switch is there. There is a switch there. For the door. No, there's a switch here, which is uh, probably just like a... Oh, not okay. the one that I thought. Is this a timing bit? Maybe it's a timing bit. Okay, that's by the, the porthole windows. Oh! Balls. Just practicing uh, for when I need to run uh, straight into the wall later <laughs> on my <laughs> time run. And trip over the weird floor ceiling rafter things. They're lamps. Are they? Are they they're lamps. Like girders? Huh? I thought they were girders. Oh, they're pipes. Okay. No, they're, they're lamps. I don't think they're lamps. I think they're pipes. Let us know in the comments uh, if they're clearly lamps uh, or they are pipes, uh, despite the fact that there are pipes uh, everywhere visible in the ship. So, since the 90s, there has been a matriarch of Tomb Raider called Stella, who uh, created a wonderful, wonderful... Tomb Raider walkthrough website of all of the Tomb Raider games. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, Stella. Uh, and she writes, Beware oh. of the silver pipes at floor level. And I trust Stella with this, so... Oh, Stella's wrong. <laughs> Jump. Very good. No oh, fuck. Gonna die. How did? Oh, she was too close. Okay. Oh fuck. If this time is also not good, I have a couple of suggestions, which I hope will be useful. Unlike some of my previous ones. You're starting this save with only half health. Okay. Um, also, as soon as when you pull a switch and it shows you a thing. Yeah, I, I've been I've been uh, moving. But if you t if take the weapons out, it immediately cuts back to her. So that could help. Ah. Oh, okay. Like just so you can see where you're going. Ah, oh, fun cool. Close that time. Um, so close. So close. So close. It's just too many controllers. Literally, I feel this is very unfair that the, the timer is still going when you have animations. Cannot deal with uh, that many controllers. Button to push. Ah! It's gonna be easier for you because you're not gonna be seeing. Uh, you're just gonna have a. Uh, Benny Hill music conversation. Yeah, of just me losing it, sir. So. Ah. Move, 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 move! Oh, there's another. Oh, f Is this a time one? I, I'm dreading the fact that 
potentially you have to do the first switch, run over here, do the second switch, and then run down the end of the corridor. If I need to do both of them, I might just quit this game. Like, it's been great, but... Uh... <laughs> Can't deal with timers and fire. No, the two okay. bastard one... Uh... No, they turn uh, back on again, so... What is the suggestion say? Which one first? Uh, the far away one first. So... They're both far away. The one by the portholes. That's... Because this has to be this one. Then running to the other one and then yeah. running back to... Inverness. Yes. Oh, for Oh, for f**k's sake. Is there a reason you started to use the analog stick again? Because uh, only for to do this, because I cannot uh, turn uh, uh, quickly. Okay. Oh, f**k off. Shall I try as well? Or you want to try another one? No, I'll try another one. Okay. Uh, seriously, it is a matter of seconds. It is a matter of seconds uh, because, uh, for as much as I could have been better jumping everything, uh, it is extremely tight. Oh, f oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. No, I don't want you to do it. No. Ah, I had it. I had it, I had it, I had it, I had it. Oh, it was in sight. Of course, uh... Come on! Literally, they just started again, just started again. You want water? No, I want the people that designed this game realize that uh, if you put uh, animation that take away seconds, uh, you cannot then expect people to do the game. <laughs> yeah, I had it, I had it, I had it. But they want you to jump because it's faster, but you cannot jump where there is fire. I am so furious at this level because it is absolutely shoddy design on the the creators because they want like oh we want something extremely difficult but the level of difficulties great it needs to be very uh, timely uh, very tight yeah you cannot waste uh, time of uh, the player with uh, the showing you what's happening yeah with the animation Either the animation stopped the timer, mm. or not. Now, I'm extremely furious. This was a poorly designed, um, designed level. Okay. You see, already, this part is already 
a better, more intricate uh, puzzle. So something's gonna open, and I need to be very clever on how where I'm swimming. And there is a switch somewhere here. Uh, where I, I lost the switch. I think behind, behind you now. Yeah, on the floor. Hopefully, you'll get lots of goodies with it. No, nothing. Okay. I thought she picked up things with the gold. Maybe you have to get the others. I don't know. Oh, I got Hey, some. where did he come from? Yeah, from that uh, up. Damn good question. Oh, my oh, God. F off. off. That doesn't make any sense. No, because I kill. Someone just come and throw them in there. So, I went down the other chamber, and then I thought uh, I knew where I was going, but then there was a uh, another room uh, with a very deep... Uh, another another pit? Yeah, another pit, uh, and I let myself gently down, uh, but I died. Oh. So I went. Oh, I went. Uh, Is this uh, up there. Okay. To my death. Ah. Maybe the solution is going there. Way. Yeah. Probably. Ah, yeah. I remember this. I think this is a pull block. It is. Ah, I have some memory. Finally, some good advice. Oh, it's another bit of corridor that looks exactly the same as the last one. Oh, switch. <laughs> there was a big noise. Mm. And the trap doors have opened and now there's oh. rocks everywhere. I think if I had to be overly critical of this game, I think... Actually, no, I think this probably applies to most of the classic games, is that if they were made today, one thing they would have to do is clarify what she's doing in a narrative way, because there's so many times where, you know, she's found this place at the bottom of the ocean, and all you've heard tell is that um, the monk sank it. And as she's running from room to room, but logically, we don't know why. So we would have to have some sort of cutscene or something where she's like, oh, I need to get to this part of the ship because X, Y, Z. So you at least know what you're going towards. I think that stands for quite a few of the levels in the, the older games. Oh, f Oh, that was the bit. Yeah. Was there another switch that I missed? Let's see what Stella says. Stella was clearly wrong about the lights <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> they're not lights, they're pipes. Why are they shaped like that? Pipes are round. It, they're sort of round. No, they're not. Uh, they are shaped like uh, fluorescent light bulbs. Okay. Hello, baby. Think I'm gonna say hello. Okay. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not doing well. So. This is how. <laughs> Bless you. Did you hear that? Yes. Oh, baby. You just had your dinner. Are you going to be Papa's good luck charm? Because I'm not, apparently. Or maybe I am, because he's still playing, so. Uh, yeah, but that is out of uh, sheer stubbornness. Uh, uh, anything else? Uh, I have. A, I have a question. Can I grab onto? No, I don't like think so. Fake I, ladders. I think. Um, I think that has to be filled with water. Yes, uh, I. I think so too. Is the fact finding the, the right switch? The right switch. Can I just? 
go down there, or mm -hmm. am I gonna kill? I don't know. Myself. Make another save. Yeah. Uh, I went up that go one. I have one. Yeah. Yeah. This is a different room. Yes, excellent. There we go, now you can climb up this dirt pile somehow. So this should... You hear the noise? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> Maybe. I think there was the noise of rushing water. Which should lead you... At the moment there's just a heartbeat, which is, uh, I'm assuming they're just reusing the the sound from Tomb Raider 1. Mm -hmm. Kind of fits though. Huh? Oh? Fits, I think. It's oppressive. It's oppressive, but there's unless there's going to be a giant heartbeat in this... Uh, what is the Seraph? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think this game is very, very thin in terms of plot. Like a lot more could have been explained and delved into. It does give you a very vague story. I think if the scope of the game is to make you explore... So, the mock says that there is this thing yeah. down here. Yeah. You would, exp not knowing where it is, uh, you would want to explore it. Uh, yeah. But I mean, in, in terms of the, like you were just saying, I don't know what the Seraph is. Does it have anything to do with the heartbeat, etc.? They could have expanded more plot wise. Oh, I'm sorry, but I flooded this room. Run away. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, what? The medipad. Oh, are you alive? No, baby, I'm not alive. Oh. I had no time to get uh, my guns out, and I, I was already dying. Yeah. You hardly get a chance. Like, this is designed for to get... Uh... Yeah, that's... I know. I cannot get... Medipack right now. Actually, no, leave it. Don't. Just collect everything and go. <sighs> God, I hated this level. Your new least favorite level? By far, but again, it is... Uh, so, even the, the final thing is designed for the player to lose uh, a huge amount of health that there is no other it is a level designed to just uh, make uh, the player frustrated it's a punishing level but it's not to say oh this is is very difficult i need to come up with a clever solution because it's literally just i need to do it this over and over again until it's perfect yeah until it's perfect mm. and it is frustrating and like, me personally, I would never design a level like this because it makes people hate the game. And don't you want, like, people to feel, like, reward... Like, I don't feel rewarded that I managed to do it. Because I feel that uh, it was... You feel like it was luck? Pretty, pretty much. Uh, like, it's not like, oh, I s suddenly f mastered uh, the, the art of running and jumping uh, and time it well. No. And I did not master the jumping around and shooting either. I literally feel that I have lucked out. Mm -hmm. And I felt frustrated and I felt that this was 
a terrible level absolutely terrible basically I failed a lot and I had a lot of emotions about this level I kind of hope you have less emotions going forward but we'll see I shall see till next time